Good morning everybody. Just another quick tutorial using a student one point perspective drawing, very nice drawing, um, on how to transfer this image uh, which is a scan of a grey lead drawing. You can see eventually it pixelates here um, into the digital vector format. Uh, so very simple process for a line drawing anyway you'll see if I click off this image there's nothing up here that we can work with but if I click on the image just click on the image we get this live trace and it's going to trace basically over the lines and make it into a vector file I'll show you the process very simple yes okay Okay, so now this has become a vector file. You can zoom in as much as you would like and it's not going to pixelate because of the physics engine in Illustrator here uh, that estimates the pixels. You can change the threshold and the minimum area of pixels um, and that would just sort of help define or uh, darken, basically darken light in certain sections of your drawing, but I won't deal with that today. I want to go straight into um, creating, putting colour, filling colour in these sort of big areas and to be able to colourise this image um, in Illustrator in a simple way. So I'm just going to live paint this now. So first your live trace, then your live paint. Okay, now we have all these uh, paths, all the dots and the red lines. I just click over here. They're not there. It's just if it's just translated into a different sort of uh, formatting somehow. Um, so this is a live paint bucket there, and I can from this point go into different sections and paint certain areas. Okay, so if I wanted that TV screen, for instance, let's just choose. Let's do uh, swatches. If you go into swatches, you have this option here. You've got all these different uh, sorts of colors and tones, etc. Maybe I'll just give it a light gray, just simple, just as a, an example there. Okay, so you can see that that TV is colored. However, however, there's an issue because if I want to keep going, for instance, and paint the walls. Uh, let's try swatches. Let's just go color books. Doesn't really matter at this stage. Pantone. Okay. Um, we have all these things, colors here. We want sort of a fairly light cream color for the walls. I can dump that in, but it's going everywhere, isn't it? You just maybe want the roof, but that's a problem. So undo that. What you need to do here to fix this issue is click on this, uh, the whole image, highlight the whole image, best, like say so after live paint, you can basically do this. This little box here, gap options. Uh, if there are any gaps in your drawing, the paint's gonna leak into other sections. So it's often the case that there are gaps. Um, if we hi highlight this, we can go gap detection. So it's gonna find as best as possible within certain parameters, um, gaps in your drawing. Okay, so you can say small gaps, medium gaps, large gaps. You can customize, uh, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna say medium gaps just to cover the bases. I don't think there's too many large gaps that need to be bridged. You can see these darker red areas. This is where it's gonna fill the gap. Okay, so all these spots are where there's little gaps. And now the program's going to estimate and join those lines together, in a sense. So let's try that again with uh, the paint bucket. So that's one. this one here again, live paint bucket there. It's just thinking about it a little bit. Okay, so now that's estimated and close that gap, and you only can get the roof. 
Okay. Uh, just to highlight another point with these swatches, uh, there's many different swatches and it'll be interesting to play with. Uh, you have gradients, so and all sorts of different types of gradients. So metals is interesting um, for certain certain types of things. So for the TV, maybe you put in we that wasn't supposed to go over the whole thing. I'll just undo that. <laughs> just a section at a time. Okay, now now that's going to work. It's just that section. Okay. So now we have a gradient over that, so it gives it that TV sort of glow. Um, and you can sort of load up different sorts. I'm going to say pop art. This is sort of looks, looks like a kid's room, so they might have a few bright colors. Um, choose swatches here. And continue with that. So maybe the, the pillow. And you can see that in a short amount of time, just going over the black line. Uh, we, you can start to colorize this image. Might get a darker blue for this part, so it looks like there's a bit of tone there. Continue. Change the tone just a little bit, just for interest's sake. Okay. So that's how you can quickly fairly effectively. This is the basics. You can take it into Photoshop. There's lots of things if you explore the, uh, the swatches there. Colorize a line drawing. Find the gaps in Illustrator. Thank you very much. Hope you get something out of this.